morning and welcome to Custom Woodworking California Wood. My name is David Castillo. Thank you for stopping by. The video that you're about to watch is the completion of a project I started last summer. It is a 1930s Philco radio cabinet that I've repurposed into a liquor bar. I enjoyed working on this project. There was a lot of new things that I had to learn to do, like the stained glass. I had not done any stained glass work before this project. I did a similar project earlier where I did not do the stained glass myself. I actually had an artisan from here in Sacramento do the stained glass for me and then decided I'd like to take the challenge and try to do a stained glass piece on my own. This entailed getting all the necessary tools to do the stained glass and I also did some things that were kind of unorthodox in order to complete the project. Um, I didn't want to spend the money to get a glass grinder so I kind of built my own. Uh, purchased a diamond wheel or drum off of Amazon and then to my drill press in order to sand down or grind down the pieces of glass for the stained glass piece. I learned a lot. I didn't realize that you had to actually stretch the lead tracks that you could purchase in order for them to collapse down to a size that would fit the glass. It's kind of interesting because we used to joke on the construction site for a new uh, trainee we would say, hey, you need to go get the board stretcher. And in this case, there actually was a process for stretching the lead rails that you use for stained glass, which was quite interesting and kind of humorous to me. I enjoyed you the project. I hope you enjoy what you see. I didn't put a lot of the process for refinishing it. One thing I wanted to mention was that for a long time I had been frustrated with the finish uh, that I would get with polyurethane and uh, different types of paint brushes. I'd always get streaks and by some chance I had purchased some foam throwaway brushes from Home Depot and decided to try those out to see what kind of finish I would get and amazingly enough the foam brushes which are cheap and some people would look at them and say I'm not going to use that on my project has actually given me the best finish that I've ever gotten on a project using probably your thing so that's my recommendation if you want to get a smooth finish that's similar to one that is sprayed on you could use a foam throw away brush and you will be surprised with the result I know I've been surprised with the result so enjoy the video and I hope you come back again leave a like leave a comment subscribe help me build my channel thank you very much for stopping by